Hey guys, so today I'm getting um, microneedle in my face at Dr. Smolin's office here in Beverly Hills. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Come Would on, you Yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. <laughs> Richard Zimalan. I'm a facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon here in Beverly Hills. We are doing PRP uh, microneedling today, which means we're actually drawing blood, uh, spinning it down and getting all the growth factors, which are all the things that are going to revitalize the skin, help create new collagen. The first step is actually just to draw the blood. It's very simple, painless, and takes about a second. It takes, takes a minute, and then we spin it down and get all the great growth factors, and we'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. So he's about to draw blood. <laughs> so I do this myself just because, you know, I like to take the time and effort to really you know, do things and do things well. So, just let me an alcohol pad there. Squeeze this down for me as soon as I tell you to, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Are you doing okay there? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't done anything. You shouldn't <laughs> feel much just because, okay? All right, ready? for it. Ready? Yep. So, you have a beautiful, easy vein. Did you feel that at all? No. You didn't feel it at all, right? No. So tell everybody you didn't feel that at all. Yeah, I did not feel anything. Are we doing one tube after two? Why don't you do two tubes since he's, uh, since we're gonna do like a nice treatment for him. Sometimes we do one tube and sometimes we do two. What we're gonna do is just do one more for you, okay? That's so so we can actually, um, do a little bit more of the fluid and do an extra go the extra mile for you. Go ahead and take that off. Just switch it again. Put the next one in. No problem. Boom. So we'll do two tubes for you. Don't worry, you don't need this blood. Actually, studies have shown that a, a little bit of a blood uh, draw here and there is actually kind of good for you. So um, this is going to be great. So we actually, even though the blood's red, where we're going to spin down is going to get this gold yellow liquidy looking stuff which looks awesome okay come off come off yours okay i'll come off mine give me perfect and then i'll come out with this that's it we're done <laughs> that was it it's as simple as that okay so we got our two tubes of blood here now next we're gonna go spin them down and we'll get the growth factors which are that's what really helps um the skin get revitalized is all the growth factors inside the uh, the blood. So go ahead and just hold like this. Good. We'll do like that. And then this. So right now she's just getting ready to um, clean my face, I guess. So right now she's putting numbing cream on me mm -hmm. to make my face nice and numb. So this is what it looks like after they spun my blood. So the serum, that's good stuff. The yellow stuff. stuff is the serum, the, the rich plasma. It's going to go over your face okay, like, cool. a, like a face mask. Nice. And there goes all my good plasma. I got the good good. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna start with your forehead, okay? Okay. Okay? Cool. You good? Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah. I bet your face is all nice and numb now, huh? Mm -hmm. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna do is gonna put a little bit of uh, the, uh, the PRP, which is um, plasma rich protein. And so uh, what we're gonna do is essentially put it on top of there and the needle's gonna go in and out, in and out, and that way the uh, the growth factors and everything inside can actually, uh, all the growth factors inside can actually replenish your skin, okay? okay. So you shouldn't feel all that much, actually. So, how do you feel? I don't feel anything. Yeah. It's great. It feels like vibration. <laughs> well, it is a little needle's vibrating. Hmm. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper now with the with the micro needling. So you can actually adjust the depth that we do this, and every everyone's skin's a little bit different, so I actually adjust it for each person's um, for each person's depth. So everyone has a little bit of thicker or thinner skin. So does this mean I have thick skin? Yeah, you have nice thick skin. Thank you. you should thank your parents for that. Mm 
I feel like this is my ugly side. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna go really hard on this side, okay? Okay. But the downtime for this is so low that. That scar here. Specific areas with acne scarring, I'll just go a little bit more. Really try to build some collagen there. And then the real scar here that he has. Try to build some collagen there too because he's got that scar from that. Trauma. So what we're trying to do is use a little micro needles to uh, use a little micro needling to build collagen there where you have the scars and that's really going to help bring things up. So a little bit of extra can go a long way on these scars. You seem to have more scars on your left side. Now we can really focus on these areas. So we hit some specific areas a little bit harder because you had scars. Mm -hmm. That'll allow for that tissue to really build up. Okay, we're good. Hey guys, what's up? So I just woke up and today is the first morning after my first session ever of micro needling. Um, and I don't know if you could tell, but my face is doing really good actually. It's just a little red. Um, and there's not really any discomfort or anything. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but, um, here it's a little more agitated. And that's because I was actually, I had a really bad scar and keloid there. And he went a little harder on that area. Um, so it's gonna look more disturbed. Um, but as far as the rest of my skin goes, it you could tell it's already making a difference. Um, and... I'm not too worried about this area right now because th this this is where the actual like trauma happened but just like underneath that area there was uh there was more like craters of uh previous um acne scars and those actually look like they filled up and they're not like craters anymore it's like a more smooth like surface um so yeah um that was my check-in um and i'm gonna keep checking in throughout my recovery and my procedures so yeah thanks guys today is day two after my micro needling um and it's not as red as it was on day like right after the procedure and the day after but um i don't know if I can see that much results right now. Some of it is agitated, as you can tell, like specifically around my um, scar where he was going in deeper. It's still a bit agitated. Um, and um, I mean, this side of my face has always not looked problematic, but um, there are a few marks and stuff. Um, I'm gonna give it a few days and let's see how it looks. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Just woke up, and it is now day three of um, recovering from microneedling. And um, so today, I noticed a little bit of peeling in, like, the areas where he went in extra deeper, I would say. Um, but, yeah, there's just a bit of peeling, and then everything else looks fine. Still a work in progress. Can't wait to see the finished... Look. <laughs> Bye, guys.